We'll be demonstrating a cervical examination. And the first part of this is starting with inspection and observation. So what you'll want to do is make sure the patient's wearing something that will help you visualize all the structures in the cervical spine. I'm just gonna come around to the back here behind uh, Lindsay. Is it okay if I move your hair? Yep. Okay, so I'm just gonna move this to the front here. So first off, we're just visually inspecting. We're looking to see if there's any muscle atrophy or wasting. We're gonna look at the top of the shoulders here. Have you bend forward a little bit? Try to see the suboccipital region. And then something that we're going to do uh, is also look at the posture, but not just the cervical spine. Even though that's what we're focusing on, we have to take the thoracolumbar and lumbosacral regions into account. So we're gonna have you yeah, stand over here maybe uh, by the door there, Lindsay. Okay. okay. So I'm just kind of stand with your back towards me. So. As I look at Lindsay here, I'm looking for, you know, anything that stands out, any asymmetry in the shoulders. I'm going to look at the neck, suboccipital, cervical region. I'm going to follow down through the spine, and then I'm actually going to have you face this wall here. So turn. And then what you also want to do is look at the patient from the side. So just stand naturally as you normally would. We're looking at the spine in relation to gravity here. So looking at the cervical spine, if we can do an imaginary line that would cut right through the, the uh, auditory meatus here, through the cervical spine, the odontoid coming down, it should intersect through the shoulder midline. And then as we're coming down right through the side of the hip. And what we want to see is how does the cervical spine look in relation to the thoracic, thoracic lumbar, and all the way down to the base of the sacrum. So this will give you a good idea and then have the patient face you as well. So you can turn this way. And then once again, just looking at the front, following through the collarbones here, shoulders, just looking for general symmetry. And this way you can also see if the head's angled to one side or if it's you know forward or back. So you're taking all this into account. So that's a basic inspection and observation of the cervical spine.